Hey guys, uh, this is the Nick Tanko, and I am. <laughs> hey guys. Um, okay. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest, my husband. You guys are finally meeting him. Anyways, I didn't say your name. So this is my husband, Sergi. Hi guys. I asked you guys on Instagram to send us some fun, interesting questions so you guys can get to know us a little bit better, how we came about, because I know I kind of just randomly threw it out there that we're getting married and we're engaged and all that all happened so fast. And so um, there's a lot of questions we need to answer. I'm a little camera shy, guys, but guys, it's okay. I'll get used to it. Don't worry. How did we meet? We met at a youth camp once, like three, four years ago or so. I was sitting in my hammock, uh, you know, chilling, minding my own business. And then uh, Tanya comes over here and she's like, hey, could I sit down? And I was like, uh, no, this is my hammock. And then it just proceeded from there. He was the guy that was the one that was very outgoing, very silly. I did come up to him and I was like, hey, can I like, is this your hammock? Can I sit in it? And he was like, no, he was like, a little scared of me. <laughs> <laughs> but like coming back after that camp, I like my sister, she was like, so did you meet anyone? I was like, no, like, she's like, any potentials? I was like, no, but I did meet like the super funny guy. And like ever yeah. since then, I just always thought of him. I wasn't even a potential. He, he I, wasn't at first, And no. I swooped in, I swooped in, <laughs> and I stole her heart. You did. So that's what happened there. Do you guys speak Russian? If you do, how often do you speak it to each other? Uh, yes, we do speak Russian. How often? Not often enough. It's more like we throw in random Russian words or jokes, yeah. uh, mostly, and we're if we have to speak to our parents. Yeah, we definitely want to like practice our Russian because it's actually really rusty. But I came to America when I was two, and he was born in America, so yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work. But hopefully they keep on, I don't know, hopefully our kids speak Russian. Pet peeves now that y'all are living together. I have zero. No, you don't. Okay, so you actually, think about it. Think about it for a second. What is something I do that actually like, just like, annoys you? <laughs> <laughs> One of my pet peeves is he will open up cupboards, drawers, and he does not close them. He also leaves the closet light on or like bathroom light on. Another pet peeve is where I'm like ready to go and then I'm like ready to go out the door and he's like, oh wait, I forgot to do something. And then I'm like waiting for him. Like that's one of my biggest pet peeves. It's so annoying. Tanya does this one thing where uh, she loves sleeping and she never wakes up. So I get up and I'm not a, like a morning person or anything, but I just am an adult so I have to wake up at a certain time and I wake up and I'm like hey we have like eight hours of sleep it's time to get up and she's like no no but any more pet peeves pet peeves yeah your beauty room being pretty dirty <laughs> okay <laughs> are you guys planning to have babies in the future we definitely do want kids but we're in no rush to have kids do you want to say like how many siblings you have I have 14 siblings with me and my parents, all the whole family is 17 people. I remember when I just met him, I like couldn't wrap my mind about like having 14 siblings. I was like, dang. And I have five siblings in my family, so I just can't imagine. He was the middle child, I was the younger child. Yeah, she's the baby that was spoiled. <laughs> but yeah. it's okay, I spoil her now. Yeah, you so spoil me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we are planning to have kids and honestly we both kind of want six kids But we're just gonna see how the first one goes just because like if the first one is chill And having kids is good pregnancy is smooth then we're fine with having like a bigger family Like I honestly love having having siblings and everything growing up. So I don't mind having kids What is something we don't know about Tanya? She actually never lets me watch her videos <laughs> like if I'm ever trying to watch any of her YouTube videos, she gets mad. She's like, no, they're cringy, I win. They're not cringy. They're really good videos. I watch them when she's not around. I'm like, uh-huh. And I like them. And like I sent comments. That's actually true. And his sisters are like really supportive of my YouTube channel too. They're yeah. like, when are you, when is Sergi going to be on your channel? They're like such supporters of him. Like it's so yeah. cute. All like eight of them. Yeah. So, okay. It. When did you realize this is the woman I'm going to marry? I don't know exactly what moment. But I remember when I said I love you, and it was, uh, we, were, we went to her family camp. So it was all like her family and extended family. So just 
a bunch of people from her end and it's just me there and I'm just sitting there and she's just like her hair is all messed up looking like she's at camp with no makeup on and I look over at her and I'm like dang I love this girl so I like dragged her not dragged I took her aside uh, and I like hey Tanya um, I love you and she's like oh I love you too I wanted to tell you something I'm like, yeah, you added that. <laughs> he added the she, last she part. Loved. And then he like like embraces me and he's just like, Tanya, I love you. And it was like such a cute in the moment, like, I love you. And I was like, I love you too. Ever since we actually met guys from camp, like he's always been on my mind and... Same here, actually. She just, we met, we didn't like even talk much, but she was, yeah, she was always on my mind. I always thought about her, I'd talk about her quite often. Yeah, he wanted me. Why were you so private with the relationship before you got married? LOL. So I actually didn't expect to be so MIA. I think what happened was during COVID, that's when we really like fell in love and were dating and engaged. Like we were literally, it was all happening then. And I just did not want to be on social media, just not because of like being private on my, with my relationship, but I just never had the time to like sit down and explain to you guys because Everything happened so fast between us. Like you guys, like literally, we were dating for only five months um, exclusively. And then we were engaged only for five months and then we just got married. And like in between those weeks, like there was the holidays and then there was just like all this other crazy stuff going on. And I just never found the time to update you guys. And I just felt so bad, honestly. I regret not taking the time to just like share more with you guys. Um, but it is what it is. I can't take that back now. Did you guys wait till marriage? And if so, what are tips on having a godly relationship? So yes on waiting till marriage. <laughs> and, and one of our tips is definitely, you know, have boundaries and keep those boundaries. Try to, you know, hang out with groups of friends and don't always be alone. Don't isolate yourself. Like it's obviously like for those of you Christian couples that are dating or really in a like serious relationship right now you guys know how hard it is when you guys are just by yourselves like it's so easy to like do something but you just really have to both be on the same page as far as boundaries and just like respect each other's boundaries and obviously if you guys are both on the same same page about waiting waiting for marriage then honestly pray that god gives you guys strength otherwise like get married get married if you know for sure that's the man and woman that you want to spend the rest of your life with Amen, sister. Don't just get married to do it. Who is the most messy around the house? No. Definitely. I'm not messy at all. Okay. Hey, let's walk into your beauty room. I can pick up this camera. Okay. Right now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> we both like it clean. But when we like come home, like we're, we're, we do kind of tend to throw things on the floor or like but yeah. we do still pick up after ourselves. I feel like you're a little more messier than me. I feel yeah. like after marriage, I got so much better with like cleaning up after myself. Just because like for me, I'm like, I want the house clean, 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 you know? And then I like, <sighs> I, don't, I don't do the dishes, I soak. You put the dishes in and you just get them like soak. You just wet them, you know? It's, it makes it easier to wash it afterwards for hair. Which is actually really thoughtful. But you guys, he actually, you know what? He actually cleans up. Like, he cleans the dishes. He vacuums. And he actually does it really good. Like, he does the baseboards. Earlier today, he was vacuuming the dust off the blinds. Like, I don't make you clean, but, like, you yeah. offer You sometimes. asked me, like, three times, but I do tend <laughs> Okay, who said I love you first? Funniest memory together. You guys are the cutest. Aww. Okay, so you said I love you first. Funniest memory together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have one. <laughs> we cannot say that one. We have one that's we really funny, but we can't go there. But we have we another one. So when I first asked Tanya to be my girlfriend, we were out like on some beach, and I was stepping <laughs> over a log, and it was like a slippery log, and I just fell. Plopped. Around. I turned around, and all I see him is like he's like literally on the ground like this, just holding all these blankets, and I just like cracking up. But um, I made fun of him for it, like literally. I haven't made fun of you for it for a while. Oh! <laughs> okay, so, so, I'm sleeping, right? Sleeping. He's like on his phone doing stuff, and I'm like, I'm like, this guy fully knows, thinks that I'm asleep right now. And so I'm just like this, like hecka still. And I'm on my phone like this. And right? when he's on his phone, like it's hard to get his attention when he's on his phone. 
So all of a sudden I'm sleeping and then I just started freaking twitching like this and he's like looking over and he's like holding me down. <laughs> It freaked me out. I'm like, is she possessed? <laughs> but you know, like when you get scared and you like feel it. And when I scare her, she gets like, "It's so funny, it's so funny when you scare me." Every time I like, I, like, I just, like hide behind it, anything or scare her. I gotta say, it was worth it. <laughs> There's also another time where I. <laughs> I don't know if we can say this. We should. Dude. <laughs> No, your no. dad might watch this video. <laughs> okay, okay, that one is for a future There's, video. That might be a future video, but we have some very funny memories together. Sergi is literally one of the funniest guys I've ever met, and he literally cracks me up. I make her feel young, because you know, she is older than me. Yes, so. I am. I am one year older than him. Not even a full year. Almost a year. We're, tw we're twinsies for, <laughs> for a whole eight, on a whole eight days. How'd y'all meet? What's the best part of married life? I'm a newlywed too. How'd we meet? We mentioned that earlier. Uh, youth camp and best part of marriage is... Best part of married life. Just having Tanya around, to be honest. Like having someone with you all the time, going to sleep with someone, waking up with someone. You're never like really lonely. Unless you're in a bad marriage, which I'm sorry. I don't know, like just something about Sergi being here, like he just feels like home to me and it's like your person. Just sharing life and building life with someone who you both are committed to, like that's the best feeling ever. Any relationship tips? Do you have any good ones? Uh, communicate, which is obviously a... What's the secret in a healthy relationship and it kind of goes hand in hand in communication for us both? If you look at your spouse, this is your partner for life. This is your forever. And you need to fully just have grace for that person and be patient with them as they are learning through life with you. Seek to understand the person instead of like being first to respond. Like be the first to understand where that person is coming from. Yeah. And Tanya's really good at that communication part. Like as soon as she doesn't like something, you know, she makes sure I know. Yeah. <laughs> but not, but actually like not in a bad way. Yeah. But it's actually really good because then like she never actually keeps anything bubbled up or like holds any like yeah, aggression no, yeah. towards me without like telling me. She's always like, hey, no, like we're on good terms, like, or hey, like work on this or change this up or do this. So it's like, I know what I need to do. I know where I need to work on and it's not like I'm ignorant and I don't know what's happening. Come into marriage or your relationship just being super honest with one another. Also like being gentle and in that as well because if she was like always like hey you're doing this wrong this wrong this wrong and I'd get I'd get pissed because I'm a human but like you have to also always come with the right approach because if you're communicating it and it's coming off mean or aggressive in any way then your spouse will be aggressive back to you and it's not gonna work out it's like you're communicating but then you guys are just arguing so it's people are a lot more fragile than you think what was the rush getting married so quickly <laughs> what was the rush for getting married so quickly so actually in our culture slavic culture that's not long at all we both came into it knowing that we are going to be committed with one another and we share the same values same we literally talked over everything and you know love is not a feeling love is an action love is something that you choose and every single day like i'm like i'm gonna make the decision and i'm gonna choose surgery for the rest of my life no matter what no matter what i feel and vice versa right do you have negative feelings sometimes sometimes he annoys me but you know what i used to love him but he just picks on me he knows like you know like, do like the pinching thing or like the tickling and it's like stop stop and he just doesn't stop so I have this yeah. issue where I actually enjoy annoying people and they really get to know Okay, we're getting off topic though. <laughs> honestly, we just, we had no reason to wait. Like we honestly just wanted to start our life together. Yeah, like I know she's the one. There's no, yeah. Yeah. There's no reason to wait. Once you know, you know, and we don't want to wait. You know what I mean? Like, we don't want to wait. <laughs> what is one thing he does that you wish he didn't do and vice versa? Oh, I know. When he's sick. He will not only have a pill or something, he will also like always has to throw in something else. He'll get like a melatonin gummy to sleep. He will go the extra mile to make sure he's good. You know what I mean? Like, or I'll, I'll prepare something like a meal and then he's like, oh wait, let me, what else can I add to this? You know, he'll be like, what else can I add to this? And I'm like, you don't need to add anything else. He's like, she does this one thing where she has like, 
oh, like she wants to ask someone a question and she could call the person and get the answer right away, but she like texts the person. And I just like, I like to get it immediately done. So I'm like, I just quickly call the person, get what I need, hang up, done. That's true. And then she's always like, eh, I don't want to come. I don't feel comfortable. If Tanya were to become your sugar mama, would you quit your job and start house chores? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wouldn't quit working. Uh, I just can't see myself quitting. I have to be doing something. I can't just it sit is. home. What is the hardest part of marriage and what's your best part? Hardest part of marriage was really learning how to live together. Sergi has one way of doing things and I have one way of doing things. And it's not that one is wrong and one is right. It's the fact that both of them work and you just have to accept it. It's actually not that hard for me, to be honest. I just, because I'm blessed with Tanya for one. She's actually super chill. I don't think, I don't, probably like one of the more chill girls ever. Um, so it makes it really easy on me. One thing I didn't expect was it's a lot harder to actually always be intentional or take her out on dates every week, you know, staying on top of that always. I thought it'd be, you know, easier. I thought I'd be doing it, staying on top of the game, but it's like, I feel like I should really step up my game and taking our dates and doing things like that. And the reason why it's harder to be more intentional is because you you already live with this person so like you see them all the time and it's like we can stay in and just hang out or like intentionally go out on a date like dress up because sometimes honestly like we're too lazy to do that but we know that it's like good for us to do that and like we don't have kids yet so it's like was it hard was it hard to get in a relationship after being single for so long the answer is no because i actually chose to be single there was a lot of there was a lot of guys that I still like not a lot but I still kept my options open and and things like that <laughs> but I chose to be single until I truly felt like okay this is my guy. What were your first impressions of each other? Okay, first impressions. First impression of Tanya, she actually kind of came off a little bit scandalous to be honest. And I was like, mm, this girl's trouble. <laughs> Which I actually was, and I think it's just like my super flirty personality and like. When I met him, I literally had zero thoughts of us ever being together because he was younger and I just never thought I'd go for somebody younger. So for me, I, I just laid it all out there. I was like flirting away. I was like, yeah, you're cute, like whatever, which kind of falls with my first impression of him. Like he was super like outgoing and just like out there and he was really handsome, very funny. She looked at me like a piece of meat. <laughs> Stop, no, I did not. What is one of the weirdest things y'all do that make you question, how did I marry you? Oh, well. Do we have anything weird? You know what's weird about him? He has the, these weird dance moves that he drops every now and then. Okay, you started copying me. I did. We were hanging out with my family and she like dropped like a little like weird dance. And my brother's like, you just did a Sergi dance. I did. It's rubbing off on me. But he does these, these little dance moves and it's like so funny, but like weird. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone knows it's a surgery dance move. As newlyweds, what is one piece of advice you give to the other newlyweds? Don't argue about potential scenarios. So what happens, it's like someone asks, hey, would you ever do this in the future? And the other person's like, uh, you know, probably not. And then the other person gets mad about it. And it's like, you guys start arguing. Just bringing up arguments about what if scenarios that don't even apply to your current situation. Because Sergi and I literally would always yeah, like we, I don't think we ever like had like arguments that were like very practical. It's like usually like <laughs> cut ups and what ups, or what if something happens, or what would yeah. you, how would you react? So it's like a lot of those things. Just be like, hey, like when we get there, let's figure it out. Don't, because it's like you're getting mad for literally no reason. But we haven't done that in a really long yeah. time. Maybe, maybe See, we already learned. Look at that. But um, one piece of advice I'd give to the newlyweds is honestly just don't be so serious and have some fun. Being newlyweds is actually a lot of fun and it's like I feel like the most easy stage until you start having kids and things like that where it's just like you two. Like this is the time where you guys can just make memories, have a blast, not be so serious. You guys just, it's just you two that you have to worry about, no one else. Have some fun! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my, <laughs> I've messed up my neck. So I can't like, this hurts right here. I was at a physical therapist earlier today. He said it's, the swelling should go down. He popped it back into, pla back into place, but I don't know if he fixed it fully, I'm not sure. Oh, these are some interesting questions. So who's cleaner? Who cooks more? Who's the morning person, night person? Sweet tooth. 
Tanya's cleaner. And I'm the one that cooks more. He is definitely more of a morning person. He's way more disciplined in waking up and I'm definitely more of a night owl. As far as sweet tooth, I don't know, you like really sweet coffee. I don't like sweet coffee, but I do love my chocolate and he's not really big on snacks. Okay, do you want to end this video off of our favorite thing about one another? One of my favorite things about Sergi, he is actually very, very compassionate and he deeply cares about his friends, his family. He is such a genuine friend. I'm actually serious, you guys. Like, this is from a heart. Like, this I didn't notice until after we're like married because, like, the way he prays for his like friends literally, like, he carries. He carries his prayers deep in his heart and he just loves everyone so deeply and he's such a lovable person. I'm serious. He's such a lovable person. I just love him so much. Like it's so easy to love you. Oh, oh. And it's so fun because like we, we pick on each other and we make fun of each other and like that's the best. We don't get offended. What I love about you is that you truly are always in a good mood. Life is easy with her and it's just, it's really fun and exciting. I'm sure you guys got to know us a little bit better, but yeah, life is great. We're enjoying married life. No regrets, you know, getting married so fast because you know, we're committed. Amen. We're in love. Amen. <laughs> but anyways, we're actually gonna drive down to Portland tonight and stay there for the weekend. So, um, Yay, I'm having fun! Woohoo! We're gonna play some top golf. <laughs> mm. So yeah, we have to get some do some packing right now after this video. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys stay till the very end, hopefully you guys got to know my husband a lot better and finally he made an appearance like three months after my latest post. Sorry, we're definitely gonna be more um you're gonna be more in my videos. Hopefully. Yeah, like vlogs and stuff. Like I definitely want to do more like follow me around vlogs, things like that. But yeah, it was it was nice having you on my channel. Mm -hmm. That new face. This is my husband, you guys. Like this is gonna be the future father of the father of my children. Yep. I'm, I'm gonna build a we can have a family together. I'm committed forever. Yeah. Or stuck. Or you know what it, you know it's another side little funny moment. I'm like to Sergi and I'm like, Sergi, I can't believe we're gonna be together forever. And he's like, I only agree till death. And I'm like, this man did not even wait one second with that response. I didn't hesitate. He literally just said, I, I only agree till death. And, I'm, and I was like, well, you better be the one dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, 